Well, hello to all of my wonderful YouTube fans. How are you doing today? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. If you're curious on what I'm doing today in my room. And by the way, no, I am not leaving YouTube. I just needed to take a break from the channel just to kind of gather my thoughts and make more entertaining, awesome vlogs for you. But today, what I want to kind of talk to all you is why shouldn't you buy used electronics down at your local Goodwill? Because sometimes it may work and sometimes it may completely be a dud, basically. Once you buy it, well, you can't return it back to the store. That's my local goodwill for you. I don't know about you guys and girls having issues with returning things to your local goodwill. But basically what I bought a while back, but never done a video of, is something in this goodwill bag. It's a known Ethernet style switch. But let's go ahead and take it out of the bag itself. There you kind of see what it looks like. Okay, this has eight ports versus my own has only five. But this one is pretty slow as well. This is not a gigabyte switch. It's just a normal 10100 switch. Let's go ahead and show you the difference of my new one versus something like this. Let's test it out and see if we get any different speed. I don't think so. Before we get into the unboxing of the Linksys 10100 uh, 8 port switch megabytes per second basically, let's talk about why you should always buy a much brilliant new unit like something like this. Now of course, remember, this only has 5 Ethernet jacks. This has 8. This one here is only rated for 100 megabytes per second. This is a gigabyte switch. Okay, much smaller footprint and much easier to use than a big unit like this. And I'm curious on how much I paid for it down at Goodo. There you go. Very nice, I should say. And a lot of own information is rare. But it's one problem with this uh, switch itself. One of the ports, or basically non functional, basically it's actually dead. There's the white cardboard box there. Just gonna set this bad boy right over here. If I know how to close boxes, oh boy, we'll be good to go. Alright, no, you're not in special. Alright, inside the packaging, we do get a used Cat5E cable with a broken tab. And one good tab. Ha! Ah, crazy. Alright. A power book. Awesome. Need that to power it. And of course, before we get into the device itself, and there are some instructions for you. Oh goodness. We don't need those. That just tells us how to hook it up. Like, literally. Let's go. If I got to take it out of the Dewey. Out of the double wrap here. But that's okay. Pretty nice. Okay. So all your OED lights right here. Pretty cool looking switch. And on the back, we have nine ports. So remember, it only has eight. Now, I'm going to give you a guess 
on which port is bad on this unit. Let's go ahead and power it up and let's see if we can get any activity lights going on. Basically, let's take your power book, plug it into the outlet, basically. I'm just going to put it on the top. Err. Sorry about the lights going off. <laughs> okay. Everything looks like it works fine. It's going to take your used Ethernet cable, plug it into the jack. Alright, let's plug that into port 1. Ah, oh, now it's not going to work. Hey, look at that. Fiddly old thing anyways, right? That's what happens when you get stuff used. Well, it's making a liar out of me, you dupes. It was working a minute ago. Hey, that's don't have the white cable. Alright. I keep monkeying around and see what's going on with this thing. But yeah. For ten bucks, I basically wasted on it. Yeah. Crazy. Hey Chris, does this old Ethernet switch still connect to the internet? Well, basically, let's find out. I don't know, because remember, it is a used device. I never physically tested it on the old e-machine computer or any types of my own computers with Ethernet ports. But let's go and show you what's going on. Alright, basically, we do have Internet on this box so far but it is one port on this device is dead but I will demonstrate that as well for you and all oh, about the mess over there but let's go ahead and see if we can connect to the internet basically let's load up the web page here and say if we are good to go of course, we'll just click over there. And yes, and we still have internet. Woohoo! That's only with this old uh, box here, or Linksys switch box, basically. But you know what? Let's go ahead and show you what's wrong with this unit. Basically, it is one port, it does not work at all on this unit. Okay, see we got number one that's flashing, number three is completely dead. Alright, let's go ahead over here. Do we have any internet at all? Let's refresh the page. No, we do not have any internet connectivity on that port. Sadly, that was kind of a waste. But we're going to take this apart and show you what the inside of it looks like. Kind of neat. Oops. I really need a new camera. This camera is being a little pain in the butt. It stops recording every time I try to film. I don't know what's going on with it. That's a little nutty. But let's go ahead and show you what I mean about this old Ethernet style switch. I took it all apart. Don't worry, it has no more warranty or anything on it because it was a used item from Goodwill itself. But let's go ahead and show you what I've been up to lately and what's going on with that one port basically. That one port is basically 100% completely dead. No internet activity at all on that port. But let's show you what I mean. Alright. Before I show you the guts of that unit, this is why I bought myself a new one. 
pretty cool. Alright, put that back up there. This is basically the shell, the outer shell. There is, you know, a lovely old front panel. And basically, we have the logic board or circuit board and all sorts of stuff with all goodies on it and stuff like that. Basically, we got some LED lights. Apparently, there's some type of chip over here. Apparently, the processing chip or something like that. But, surprising, this board, it's from 2007. Hmm, 10 years old. Very interesting layout, should I say. There's your PAL. There's somewhat your shielded Ethernet ports back there. Alright, not a cool fancy going on. No power switch, no anything. But I don't know if you guys and girls can kind of see that bumped charredness right there on the board itself. But I can definitely see it. That one port is the third port right here. This port's basically dead. The rest of the arm ports are perfectly fine. Crazy. Have a look at that bad boy. Crazy tubes. Very freaking crazy of how everything works on it, except for one stinking port. Crazy, right? I don't know. Hey, tubes, let's go ahead and bust it open, basically. Well, I already took it apart. Why not leave it apart for a couple minutes and do some crazy speed test? See how slow it really is and find out. But basically, this is what I love doing. I'm very interested in seeing how things work. What about you guys and girls? You think it's all good? I think it's awesome. Well, the Lego tubes. Hey, it's all lit up again. Not in a shell, but basically. Crap yo Dewey. There you go. Don't waste a ten bucks on a use, which goes and goes. But whatever. Let's go ahead and do a speed test here. Basically, I know what's gonna happen. This thing's gonna basically crap out. Oh well, what can you do? Let's see. Eh, not too bad. For the download speed. That's pretty freaking awesome so far. But not the greatest. Holy crap, look at the upload speed on that guy. Holy snarky start thing is weird. Oh my goodness, that's absolutely horrible with that switch. Ay ay ay. Look at that tubes. That is because of a very old switch. But he carries on what I used. There you go. Go to that website and do your own speed test on your internet as well. But there you go, I had some fun tearing it all apart, figuring out how it all works. But if you guys and girls are probably new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave an awesome comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out, bye guys and girls. We'll hopefully see you in the awesome next vlog. Catch you later and have fun.